you guys and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Laura and you're watching Lil Laura's Kitchen. <laughs> to be a little bit of a different one than a day. A while back, just before this pandemic broke out, I flew over to Germany to visit my family and friends. So flying out from Sydney meant I had to first up on a 16 hour flight from Sydney to Doha, where I had a three hour stopover until I could take my next seven hour flight to Germany. It's a journey, I know. So I usually don't really get ill, but in the past I've noticed that after flying, I often tend to catch a cold. This is probably due to air conditioning on planes, crossing the different time zones, which means interrupted sleep and also less nutritious food. Airplane food is not only full of preservatives, it also just has the simple purpose of filling you up rather than nourishing your body. But especially in an environment like that, nutritious food is key. So because I didn't see my family in nearly two years and didn't want to risk to get ill during that time, I decided to bring my own food on the plane. So yeah, let me show you what I brought in my carry-on. So let's start with the essentials. Something I never go on travels without is hand sanitizer. I keep it on the outside of my carry-on so I can easily reach it whenever I need to. On long haul flights, I also like to bring tiny tubs of my skin products to keep my skin balanced and clear. Especially spray toner is such a lifesaver on airplanes as you can just spray it onto your skin whenever you need that extra moisture boost. I tend to get really dry skin on planes, so I like to also pack a moisturizing sheet mask. It's not only relaxing, but it also gives me something to do. Next we have nasal spray. This one might seem a bit weird, but if you get quite bad ear egg on planes like I do, this is what helps with it. Another thing I would hate to forget is headphones, of course. And this one probably goes without mentioning, a portable charger and a charging lead. You definitely don't want to be getting lost in another country, then run out of battery. Of course I also brought a book. The book that I was reading at that time is called All the Light We Cannot See and I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. talk about the snacks because who doesn't love snacks? I pack myself some mad jewel dates because they're such an easy going fruit to bring and what I love about them the most is that they're actually very saturating due to their high fiber content. And they're such a treat combined with natural peanut butter which I already bought in a travel friendly size. I also bought some nuts. lemon which is super random I know but I find it really relaxing added to some hot water and it's also such an easy way to boost your vitamin C intake. Then I also brought some Simon to add to coffee for instance. When packing liquids, you want to make sure to check the restrictions, which vary from airline to airline or even country to country. Another thing I brought was a banana and I also prepped some oatmeal. For the oatmeal mixture, I combined half a cup of rolled oats. A teaspoon of chia seeds. A teaspoon of hemp seeds and some dried strawberries. On the plane, 
I simply ask for an extra cup for my oatmeal and some hot water. Lastly, I also brought some whole wheat bread slices. And an avocado, which I ate together with some salt and pepper in it. I was also given a little fruit bowl, but I don't remember if I actually had them, as usually even the fruit on planes gets sprayed with preservatives. All right, this was essentially all I packed in my carry-on. But I also want to note that when bringing foods on planes, you want to make sure to inform yourself on airline or country restrictions as there's tons of things to keep in mind. Most commonly, you're only allowed to bring liquids and containers up to a certain size, which is why you saw me barely pack any liquids and just using zipper bags instead of containers. Another thing which is really common is that you're not allowed to import any fresh foods such as veggies and fruits meaning that you can bring them with you on the plane like I did, but you have to either consume them or get rid of them before you cross the official border. In Australia, for instance, it is seen as a very serious matter, which can lead to high fines. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you have any other tips and tricks for traveling vegans or non-vegans, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below so we can all inspire each other. On that note, thanks so much for watching, lovelies, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh